All right, so if we go to setup. So here's part of your issue right here. So if your weight is back, you're gonna hook it more more than likely. So you're on the setup. You're 63% of your pressure is on your back foot. This is your right foot, left foot, toe, heel, left foot, toe, heel, right foot. So all of my weight is here. Yeah, it's about 65 percent, 63% whatever, right there. So then, and you also have it all in the ball of your foot, which is how you were probably taught, because I was too. But that's to move laterally quickly, like in all the other sports. But in golf, we want to be centered, but we want the pressure to increase over here to load the weight. So if I draw lines here, you're a little, how tall are you? About 6'2". So that's probably... Six two. So see how, like this dash line? Yeah. So when I draw a line from the back of your armpit, is that, yeah, it's pretty straight there. See how it's in front of your toes? So that's saying that's where like your upper body, I guess, I never really figured out where that, but that's, because I noticed it on the Trackman video, you're leaning way towards, let me put more camera so it's bigger. Towards the, you're leaning towards the golf ball, right? Where you want to be centered of your feet right here. And then I think you just rock back in your your um, heels a little bit. Yeah, we, yeah. So then let me see. So what you said bear, so right there. That's what you're talking about, bear yeah. used to say. So watch, I'll show you a good visual over here. Because you don't have to have a perfect swing, you just got to err in the correct positions. And that's what Brooks kept his swing even close to perfect. But watch his takeaway. Right? Yeah. So. <laughs> so look at. Well, that club's parallel to the ground. It freeze. Not bad. So this is a first position of the moving golf swing. I don't know why it keeps moving, but when the shaft's parallel to the ground. So see where his is? Outside the hands? Yeah. But look at your forearm, look at the palm. Like see how it's facing up. The palm of your right hand's facing up. So you've rolled it open. And you've probably done that because you don't, you're probably taught to swing smooth, which what we've learned is you de people that swing smooth decelerate their impact. What swinging smooth is, is from transition from backswing to downswing, like being smooth and then aggressive with the body, like arms are like noodles. And then that, if you turn correctly, your path and face are gonna be the same every time. That's Dustin Johnson, because he's, he can rotate like a robot. <laughs> like, he's it's, it's perfect. That's why he has to have a bowed wrist. You know, they talk about that because he's square to the target at impact with his belt buckle, fully rotated, so his face doesn't have a chance to catch up. So his is like, see how Brooks' is face angle there? Yeah. See how his is square, if not a little shut to his spine angle? That where square to your spine angle, that leading edge, is a square club face on the takeaway. So if we're there in your club face, see how open that is? Yeah. But that's probably because you're not turning through. So then the next position, I just use a checklist because like you find the root cause every time you just go step by step through this way. So this is position three. And I've looked at all, not all tour players, but hundreds of tour players. And the only guy that doesn't like use J.B. Holmes. But statistically on tour, he's the most inconsistent ball striker because it's all timing. And so... When he's on, he's a, I play with him all, he's a fucking beast. But he's not on as much as like DJ, Rory, Kepka, you know? Um, so look at his shaft angle. He goes steep back. And then, but because of your takeaway, so then watch when I go back to arm parallel, he's now shallowed it, right? 
So it's, this shaft is more horizontal versus vertical from the back swing. So you're going to steepen it because you're getting so far behind yourself. Right? So you do, this is the amateur version. That's the pro version. That pattern. Amateur. Like mature or mature? Can it be pronounced either way? Well, mature is T U R E, amateur is T E U R. So basically, I need to sit back. Well, I want to check something real quick. Uh, because what I realized, because every fucking student did it like you, I struggled with it. Like, I'm like, what the hell is the deal? And so, what I found out was, oh, you sick. So, let's see. So, remember when we used to draw the swing plane line? Because we didn't have track man, so everybody would draw like right here, right? Yeah. So, you want your shoulder turned. To be pretty parallel, but realistically, like that. So more uh, steeper shoulder turn. So if you turn flat, so we draw a line across your nipples. It'd be a long line, but or if we go your shoulder, top your shoulders, right? So that's flat. Where this would be steep, right? Flat, horizontal, yeah. steep. So. That's the main, so one, your hands are active on, from the get-go. And I think that's because your hips should start moving when your club starts coming away. So step one is get your setup good. Step two is, uh, they turn pretty good, so that's not it. It's just your habit, muscle memory of one, rolling, but two, shoulder planes too flat. So, so you got to get your left shoulder lower. Yeah. Like actually. And yeah. But what's awkward, because what I started doing, that's why I bought a pressure mat, but it's a business investment. Because I met George Gankitz, and he could see this shit with his eyes. And so I fixed it, like, to the eye and on camera. But then the pressure mat, I was still screwing my pressure shift up. So that's why you need, yeah, I sat here for an hour, like, with the TV right on the pressure mat, like, contorting my body until I get the right pressure in my right heel but having a steeper shoulder plate. Because if you, if you just, uh, here, I'll put it on. Uh, How much they charge an hour for, for less than 100 bucks? Uh, 130. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much like uh, Einstein. Okay, ready? So if I, this is a drill of you want to do at home, but it's like, this is a golf ball, like seven iron. You're going to use it as a reference point. So one, go through a setup routine where you just stand straight up because when you stand straight up, you're not going to be like, yeah. you, know, you can feel what's balanced in your feet is. Get your arms straight out ahead of you so and then everything's square. And then keep the pressure in the middle of your feet, slightly flex your knees, whatever's comfortable. And then tilt from the hips, but don't go towards your toes. So, that, so now you can see my arms are hanging straight down, right? And the back of my armpits are kind of between my shoelaces. Right, so then now I'm going to back up a little so this is my ball. So for the turn, I'm centered of my feet, and now when I turn, I want this just to go back and around. But I want my sh so I want to check the pressure in my right heel for my lower body turn, and then I want to check my shoulder turn where if this is in my elbows, this should be pointing just outside the ball line. So if you look at the left video. If I had a line there for the plane line, right, it's pretty parallel to where the plane line would be. So now I stick my arm straight out of the and look how the club stays in front of me, right? But if I turn flat, right, I stick my arm straight out, they're going to be behind me. Yeah. But then you have a habit. So get the setup good, then just rehearse. Like you got to just change the muscle memory and feel of your takeaway. You want to feel like this forearm is staying more that way which at first you're gonna hit it way left because you because you did this, you had to do this, you had to stall and do this, but you overdo it and you hook it and your club are too upright. So now if you get it more up here and the club face is more, because when you don't rotate the forearms, it stays more shut, right? Versus this is wide open. So you get here and then if you, you don't, you do your old habit coming down of stall, it's going further left. But 
you'll start to figure it out. That's why you, people take one step back before yeah. they take two steps forward. But you'll hit it way for even further because you'll learn to use your body versus just the That's hand flip. Yeah. Um, let me I can go back to the pressure mat real quick. See what. Let me give this one. Well, I want to see. So at the top. So is that? So you're in the ball of your right foot, right? Where you want to be centered of your feet, or long hitters go towards their heels uh, on their backswing. But see how you're in your toes or ball? So then what that does is you push. So you're pretty, you thought, I guess, only 34 feet offline. So this is your center of mass, right? So let me, you'll be able to see the, so you turn back centered, but then if you turn back centered, you better turn through center. This left hip just should go back and around. But you can see you slide, because you kind of have to with those swing positions. So then watch, you'll be able to see impact here. So see how there's like the shaft is passing the club or the head is passing your hands. Yeah. So then the face is going left. But because you, uh, if you go ahead and take it halfway back, like to where that arm parallel position on the backswing. So go, yeah, there you go. That's good. Yeah, now go to arm parallel. Okay, so now find, is this on this TV? So now, yeah, so go ahead and get, get your setup good. So get about 17 inches wide. The wider you are, the more stable you are, but you're gonna slide, because you can't rotate. So I'm about 16 and a half, you're a little taller, so maybe 17. Yeah, right about there. Now, let's see. Let me see. Okay, so let me just see if someone's your posture. Okay, you're, you're good. Or go and set up to the ball. So stand slightly closer. So let's see how that line with the overall there is lining up. Now, yep, yeah, that's good. So get a little bit closer. Okay, okay, now set up. Now go through that routine. Or is that set up? Now I'm gonna change your hand position that set up so me. So you can see you still you have a you have like a fist and a thumb like turn so it may feel close. Right? Ish, like fist and a thumb like turn like your thigh to the butt of the club. Your clubs are also really long too. So go ahead and set up. You, or you can back up on the mat if you need to do a little bit. So like this is what it feels uncomfortable. Yeah, and that's good. So then, so. Okay, so. Okay, keep your preg. Go a little bit more towards your heels, just a little bit. There you go. Okay, so the first move is no rotation, hand swing straight back, and you're there. But then your turn, so do that as I turn your shoulders. Now just swing your arms up like your right arm pulled. Yeah, so that's where you should be. But watch when you do, so if you go right here, arm parallel, and find the widest, see how steep that is? So I'm trying to find the widest point of the, the balance point in the club. So it's right here. So if I'm this way, it gets super heavy, so what am I gonna do instinctually coming down? Where like you look at Brooks, Matt Wolf, they look all unorthodox, but it's genius because if it gets heavy that way, then you shallow it, and then you can pivot as hard as you want. But if you're this way, working this way, where are you going to go? you got to, like, stand up out of it, or slide it in a bit, and dump the hand. Yeah. So, Steve, all right there? 